Hey guys, this is Hope with Hopeful Planning. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm going to do a different video today. Um, I don't even know. I might rewatch it and be like, eh, I don't know. So you might not even see this, but if you're watching this, I actually thought I would show you my process for meal planning for the week. Um, how I kind of um, plan out our meals, get my grocery list going, and just the process from start to finish. And then what I also do on um, Sundays to prep for the week. Uh, so I thought that might be something you would be interested in. Um, first, I wanted to talk about like, why do I do it? Um, it basically kind of keeps me on track with what we're gonna do for the week. You know, it, you come home and you kind of have a plan in order. That is actually a very good thing. It'll save you a lot of time when you go to the grocery store and you have a list, you know right where you're going. Yes, I do veer off sometimes and I get some different things. That's kind of normal because you don't know what's on sale always. You can check ahead of time, but I don't always do that. Um, and then you, you save money as well. Um, if you go in there without a list or anything, which I have done that before, you tend to buy a lot more stuff or, oh, hey, this is buy one, get one, or, you know, all these different deals are going on and you just kind of throw everything in the cart. And when you're in the checkout, at least me, it's 200 something dollars and you're not happy. So we typically tend to spend about $150 a week, usually for groceries, you know, give or take. Sometimes it's a little bit less. Sometimes it's a little bit more. I try to utilize also what is already in the fridge as well so we don't have anything go to waste. So that's another thing. Um, the other thing is it makes me feel really organized and I like that feeling. I just feel like, huh, I got a plan, you know? I literally have been doing this for years. I really have. I would write down the days of the week and I would write down what we're gonna eat for the week, kind of get everybody's input what do you want all that kind of stuff and go from there um now happy planner if you've seen my video with my layout for july my new planner layout happy planner does have some meal planning sheets and i'll actually show you this is what it looks like and look it's like literally exactly what i've always done you write out the days of the week you write out what you're going to eat and then basically that's what I'm about to do. And then I'm going to, based off of what's on here, I'm gonna go look in my fridge and my pantry to see what I already have on hand and the things that I do need to get for it, I'll write over here. Um, now I know everybody's got like a little list of things that they start for the week, um, of things that they need. Like as you're going through the, the week, somebody will say, hey, we're running out of this, I need detergent. So I have my little list that started that's super, you know messy and only I can read it and I will actually transfer that over to my grocery list as well so that's where I'm at right now right now I'm gonna fill this out I'll come back and kind of show you everything and then I will go to the grocery store and uh, get all my groceries on the list so stay tuned okay welcome back so it's been a few minutes and I actually filled out what our meal plans are for the week. Um, I've got everything listed out here. And then what I did is I would actually get into either my recipe planner to look at specific recipes to see what I needed, or I would get onto my Pinterest and um, kind of look up. I'm always looking up recipes on there and I'll look to see what the ingredients are for each of the things that I have planned here and then go from there. So that's what I did. I made a list of everything that I'm thinking that we're gonna need. And then on the back, it continues if you need it. Um, and then I also filled out, when I get home from the grocery store, I'm going to do a few things to prep for the week. Um, I actually filled this out, and then there are a few things I was unsure if we had or not. And so the things that I had checked off, I went and looked and I already had. So make sure you are checking to see what you already have on hand, because I would have spent an additional, like. $20 or more on things that I didn't even need. So just a side note. Um, but yeah, I always like to cook my bacon way ahead of time for the week. So we've got it ready. I'll shred a big old block of cheese. I will juice some lemons because I like fresh lemon juice in my sparkling water. Um, I'm also going to make crab dip. That's going to be a YouTube video that I'll post this week as well. And I got my mom's famous chocolate cookies and I'm going to try those out today. So 
hopefully that is the plan but you can kind of see where where i'm going with it um it is a mess my uh table has been a mess trying to get everything organized together but now i've got everything in one on one piece of paper i'm gonna head to the grocery store and then i'll check back with you later see ya okay i am back from the grocery store i ended up going to walmart Blech. sorry but not a big fan but sometimes i will go there because they have some of the better deals. So I didn't really, I did good. I did good, I only spent about 120 bucks. I did not get everything on my list because if I know I can get it somewhere else cheaper, I will. But um, kind of a quick rundown, like all of this stuff literally has to do with um, things I am making this week for our dinners and lunches. So. I got some fruit because there's still a little bit left in the fridge, but I do like to snack on that. That's kind of my breakfast thing. So I'm gonna cut up that watermelon and stick that in the fridge. Um, tonight for dinner, we're gonna have some hamburgers and I'm gonna make um, barbecue bacon wrapped shrimp also. So I can't wait for that. And I'm making my homemade mac and cheese. So I've got some elbow noodles over there. Bacon, I got a big old thing of that just to last for the week. I am making crab dip, so I got some of the imitation crab meat for that. Some more rice cauliflower. One of my recipes calls for a ranch packet, so I got that. Butter, rice, everything kind of goes. We don't normally drink milk, but for the macaroni and cheese that I make, and I needed some. So I did get some for the macaroni and cheese. Um, sugar, we actually don't eat a lot of that either, but I just got my mom's famous chocolate chip recipe from her and it calls for sugar and I don't have any, so I got it. Um, needed more coffee, got some more mayo, sour cream. Um, always cheese, always. I got some detergent, Gatorade Zero for Andy. There's our stevia. The only way I have my coffee is heavy cream and stevia got my macaroni noodles um these crackers we normally don't do those types of things either but i am making the crab dip for my girls at work tomorrow so um that's actually a really good thing to dip the dip in um i needed some oats mustard i'm taking this to work lemon juice i actually have a bunch of lemons here that i have juiced that i use for home but when i i don't drink soda most of the time um it's just water or sparkling water and I love some lemon juice in it. So I thought I would take that to work. Maybe that'll help increase um, toothpaste. I'm making something with hot dogs this week and then more cheese, more cheese, more cheese. And then I got this big old pack of ham and salami. It's like a sub kit. I thought I would try it because uh, we are doing some, just some sandwiches during the week. And then definitely this was not on my list. Fake Pringles, but they were only a dollar and just sometimes I don't know. Really good. Uh, and then, for all you happy planners out there, I found these stickers. And they're pretty cheap at Walmart. But I've been wanting the wel wellness ones so bad, and they finally had them back. And then I bring them home, and they're the mini ones. I mean, I can still use them, but funny. But anyway, so that's what I got. There's only a couple other little things I need, but it's more like uh, nail polish remover and cotton ball stuff that is not really going to affect me this week. So... Um, that's what it is. So that's my grocery haul. Okay, guys. So the other thing I wanted to talk to you about was, um, I think most everybody knows that there's apps out there to help you save money at the grocery store now, but I, at least if, for those of you who might not know, um, I wanted to talk about that for a minute. There is, um, my favorite one is called Ibotta. I think everybody knows about Ibotta. Um, basically you just go in, make an account, it will bring up the grocery stores and any stores near you that are having any kind of deals. And before you go grocery shop shopping, you kind of um, go through what kind of deals they have, select them, and after you purchase them, you bring them home, you scan your receipt, and however many deals that you had that are on that receipt will get put into your account. You do have to accumulate $20 before you can um, take that money out and use it for something. But let me tell you how amazing the gift cards are. It's literally everything you could possibly imagine. Um, I used to use it for Starbucks. That would be our treat. I would get, you know, the $20 and the girls and I would go get Starbucks when we go shopping or something like that. I have not really been doing Starbucks lately. 
Um, so I will do it for Amazon gift cards. I will do it. You can do it for movies. You can do it for Sephora. I mean, restaurant gift cards, the possibilities are endless. And it's just kind of a way to treat us um, for kind of doing all this grocery shopping and stuff. So it's kind of a fun thing for me to be able to go and get some things that I wanted on Amazon or something. In fact, the last two cookbooks that I have purchased, I did not come out of our own pocket. It came from Ibotta, the money that I had saved at the grocery store. I was able to get those two cookbooks. So um, I've even saved and saved and saved. And last year, part of our Christmas was paid from the Ibotta app. So just a thought, guys. Um, I love it. I think it's an amazing app. Um, some stores do have better options than others. When I said I went to Walmart, that was the reason I went to Walmart because they had a few more coupons on there for the things that I was getting. And I'm all about saving the money. So the other one that they have out there, I'm fairly newish to is Fetch Rewards. This one, literally, they have a bunch of deals that you select, um, but every time you get a receipt, you scan it and they will look at it and automatically give you points. So kind of the same system. This is more of a points system though. When you reach a certain amount of points, you get to turn it into gift cards. I'm at like almost 21,000 points on that one. Um, I'm say I'm trying to get to 25,000 points and then I can get a $25 gift card. So that one, there hasn't been as much stuff that I've used or, or that I use that, that they have as an option to save money, but it's still fun. I just keep <laughs> keep scanning receipts constantly. And for a while there, they were allowing us to scan uh, gas receipts too. So something to think about. Um, but that's pretty much it. I just kind of try to save money where I can. And it kind of benefits me in the long run since I'm doing all this grocery shopping and meal planning and everything. So what I'm going to do next is put all the groceries away. And then I'm going to try to start um, meal prepping for the week. And I'll kind of show you what I do when I do it. See you later. Okay, we're back and I'm actually gonna show you the inside of my refrigerator to show you kind of the things that I've done today, the prep for the week. Um, starting with cheese. I did shred all of our cheeses so we would have it ready for the week. These containers I actually got at the Dollar Tree. Um, they work just fine. It's kind of like a pitcher, more like a cereal container, but it works really well for the big block of cheese that I get. And surprisingly, we will go through probably this whole thing of cheese. Um, I did cut up the watermelon, so I've got that in the fridge and I'll probably use that this week for like my breakfast. Um, what I really like is that we don't have anything, any leftovers really left. We ate everything from last week, so I'm very glad about that. Um, but here, I just cleaned off some vegetables that I had in the fridge. I don't want them to go bad. So these are some tomatoes that I have. Um, I have some romaine lettuce that I had cut up um, ready for. Um, there's really not much for salad, so I'll probably use it for our deli sandwiches. Um, I did cook a pound of bacon and put it in here. It's in crumbles. I find that that works best for us. We'll put it on our sandwiches and stuff. And then all that deli meat and sliced cheese that I had, I put in here. This is a Tupperware container that I've had forever. Um, it's specifically for deli meat and stuff. So that's pretty much it. Some weeks there's a little bit more than others that I do, um, but this seems like it's gonna be a pretty, pretty easy week when it comes to um, prepping for the week. But that is it. Um, just wanted to kind of show you the things that I did to prep ahead of time for the week. Now you've seen my refrigerator, but anybody that knows me knows that I like a organized and organized refrigerator. So I hope this has helped you guys um, maybe give you a couple of tips on prepping for the week, um, getting your meal plan ready. There's my fridge with all my people, um, that kind of stuff. Um, and try not to waste stuff too. It's kind of a way to keep things used. You're using things. Like this right here, bananas, these are starting to get bad. If we do not eat these in the next day or so, I'm probably gonna stick them in the ref in the freezer. We can use them for smoothies, something like that. So that's it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you subscribe, like. I hope you're enjoying watching my refrigerator. Um, and share. And if you have any tips, please look in the com or comment in my comments and let me know if you have any tips on meal planning, meal prepping. I'm definitely open to suggestions and have a great day. Bye.